Hi everybody, it's Leanne again. I hope you're all well. Now, I'm going to show you uh, a project that I'm going to do. This is going to be a present for someone. It's called a um, bottle cap roll. And these are what the bottle caps look like. Now I'm spray painting them at the moment. They, these are just here to show how they fit in. Um, now you need to get a piece of material. Now um, it can be anything. I'm using calico because I've got a lot of it. Now the width of this, or the length of it, sorry, is 64 and a half centimeters. That long way, 64 and a half centimeters. And then coming down this way, it is 16 centimeters. So 64 and a half. By 16 and you cut that piece of material out as straight as you can get it now you need to turn the iron on because we're going to iron um, and here it is here and what we're going to do oh I better take that back out and show you what I mean um, it's going to look like this once you've ironed it exactly like this so what we're going to do is Iron a centimeter on the top like that and iron it. Show you again. One centimeter there, iron it. Turn it around. Do the same again. One centimeter. Okay? So one centimeter on the top, iron it. One centimeter on the bottom, iron it. And then pull it out and measure. Um, on the top, you've got your one centimetre right, and we're going to come down three and a half centimetres, like that, and iron it. So I've already got the one centimetre, like that, and then we're going to come down another three and a half centimetres, okay, and iron that. Then we'll turn it around the other way, and we've already got the centimetre, don't forget, and we're going to come, this is the bottom, and we're going to come up three centimeters. Now on those three centimeters is where the bottle caps will fit. Okay, so we'll do it again. 64 and a half inches, uh, centimeters, sorry, long, 16 centimeters wide. We're going to iron one centimeter on the top. We're going to iron one centimeter on the bottom. On the bottom we're going to come up three centimeters and that's what the bottle caps will sit in the three centimeter slot and from the top we've already got our centimeter don't forget we come down another three and a half centimeters now when you've done that it will look like this when it's all fully ironed exactly like that now in between each bottle cap here I found the middle, and you find the middle by crossing it over. There's the middle, you pin it or mark it somehow, and there's the middle. And on and either side of that middle, you put a bottle cap. Now you just glue down there. That's the middle. So glue it down, sew it if you want. I glue it, simple and easy and quick. <clears throat> And then from that line to the next line will be six centimeters. So you mark from there to there six centimeters, and then you glue another line. There's your glue line. And then from that glue line to the next glue line, you, it's another six centimeters. You glue that one down. And then from that line to the next line is six centimeters, and you glue that down. And when you've glued them all down like this, six centimeters apart you'll get something like that and that's the bottle caps so then it's all ironed and all your bottle cap lines are glued and that's what you're left with this now what we're going to do is the front first I'll just take these out now as I said these are only here for demonstration purposes 
because I the other ones are outside and I'm spray painting them and I'm going to spray paint them pinks and blues and creams and maybe blacks and whites um, but hopefully I've got enough colours to do six if I haven't I'll just double up on some colours now turn it over the front and this is the front the bottle caps are on the bottom and there's the top now I thought I'd put some lace on it now some of the lace I I pulled out some bags I had um, I had bought recently um, and I found this pretty little one it's um, a cream a creamy color with this black ribbon down the center and I thought that that would look good on the front of my roll and I think it will so what I'm going to do is glue it down find the middle which is about here and do a line and then glue down your piece of lace there we go and then we continue on that line let's just glue it all down shall we oops cords in the way right, let me just get that in the middle again um I'm nearly running out of glue so that's why the glue gun is not um, thick enough for the glue um, the glue's not um, coming out very strong because it's thinning out because I need more glue but I think I'll make it I don't I can always put some more in right seems to have worked I'll just put a new glue piece in now my glue gun's still very dirty um, now what we do is we put a bit of glue on the end and then we glue it to the other one and when it holds it's working Right, now we've done that, haven't we? As you can see, we've done it. I'll just cut off that excess lacy ribbon. And I have another little spare piece there to do something else with. Right, now that seems to be going all right. Now I think we should secure it more uh, by gluing it down better than it is. Um, as you can see there it needs a bit more in the middle. Right. So we we'll just glue that down as best we can. Right, the glue gun seems to have come away. The glue stick I mean this seems to have come away from the other one so we'll glue it again. Right, we glue that down again on each side. There we go. Turn it over. We'll do the other side. Seems to be not holding up nicely, sitting flat, which is good. And we'll just do that last bit. There we go. All right. There we go. And that's what it's starting to look like. Um, now, if we turn it over. Uh, what we do need to do on this side is to firm this down a little bit 
Now I thought um, we could do that with a little bit of small lace, something pretty, maybe this daisy one, um, and that'll just hold down the line as you can see. Okay, so which side is which? Right, that side. So what we do is we start going right along that line. with some glue and holding it down uh, and hopefully this little daisy lace or trim will hold it down just like that you see right so continue with that some stuff tangled up right the election the last week of the elections on I hope everyone knows who they're voting for a lot of people don't know who they're voting for um, the Brexit vote in England was an interesting one um, I won't say that I'm not political because I can be um, I do follow what's going on in my own country and others um, because we live in a democracy we should all care about who we vote for and what we're voting for um, because it does affect everyone it doesn't affect just the rich or the poor it affects everyone so it's very important who we vote for, have representation with our government um, and to vote for the values that we believe in as well. So anyway, that's enough of me carrying on. Right, so we've done it. We've put that right across. Now there's a few strings here I want to get rid of. Um, and then we can go on it again to make sure it's all flat because um, some of them doesn't seem flat in the areas and some it does just here doesn't right doesn't look too bad right so there we go we've put on the daisy little trim now we're going to turn it around so we can do the bottom um, and what I'll do is I think I'll have to go right now and come back so I'll see you soon, bye